Every day since Hurricane Ida had passed, uh, Brock and I have been out fishing. We fished bridges, sand flats, rocky banks, and we'd even hit Hathaway Bridge twice. During that whole span, we probably just caught a handful of fish. With our options limited because of the high surf and all the muddy water and fresh water inshore, we decided to try something a little different. So we headed out to a saltwater lake right next to the beach to fish underneath the bridge. Brock had gotten word that some fish were biting there, so we loaded up and headed there that evening. All right, guys, we're under the bridge here, Lake Powell. Uh, we got some live shrimp. I uh, got some lures, some fish bites. Uh, we're gonna hit these pilings right here and see what we can come up with. Hopefully get some food for dinner. Uh, it's been a rough couple days. Fish three out of the last four days, two fish total. Hopefully we're gonna change our luck here. I hope. I just got 15 pound braid going to a swivel, going to 15 pound fluorocarbon. And then I'm just putting a loop knot in my leader so that shrimp can kind of hang there naturally move around a little bit and i'm using a little 2-0 circle hook so those fish like uh sheep's head and little mouths they can get them in get the hook in there and then you'll see i'm just threading the shrimp onto my hook so most of the hook is hidden inside the shrimp. Got him. Oh yeah, that's decent. Decent. <laughs> Little juvenile sheep head. Huh? Yeah, come here, I'll show No, I'll show you guys. All right, let me get the hook out real quick. Right. Let me show the camera real quick. The juvenile sheep head. All right. All right. Let's look at their teeth here. You don't want to get your fingers in their mouth. They'll chomp you. Look at their teeth, you see that? They look like human teeth, don't they? Is that funny? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? All right, you wanna watch them swim off? All right, let's let them go. There he goes. <laughs> Uh, this feels like a mangrove. Nope, a little runt red. Dang, and he choked that. That's gonna be tough to get. All right, he swallowed that hook, so we're just gonna leave the hook in him, let him go. You don't. There he goes.
Felt like that. Feels like another sheep. Nope. Not quite. You got a ruler? Oh. oh. Dang. Quarter inch short. What'd you catch in on? Shrimp. Did you just let him go? Did you let him go? Yeah. Oh, he swam right by me. Oh, that's a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's better. No, I oh, I lost it. That yeah, that was a keeper. God dang it. <laughs> Man, I wasn't ca I was ca catching cool stuff until you guys showed up. <laughs> I was catching redfish, sheep's head, tarpon. <laughs> Ow, God dog it. All right, that's better. Oh, not gonna be a keeper though. Dang it. That was right at 10. Is this? No, that one is. I think that one's way small. I caught a 12 inch mangrove last night. Oh yeah, this one's Nine and a quarter. It's all right. At least we're this is ten times better than the last two hey, days. Yeah, man, this is freaking five minutes from my house. We We've been driving all over the globe. All over the northern state of Florida.